Hi, my name is Steve Borman. I'm an engineer at ITW Air Management. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble a 610-1 cold air gun to replace or to inspect the generator and change it if it needs changing. There's a procedure in the instructions that come with the unit that shows the breakdown of the cold air gun. Um, I'm not going to follow that procedure step by step, but I will show you firsthand on what you need to do. First, you'll need a pin type spanner wrench, a 9 16 wrench, a ratchet with a 1 inch deep well socket, and a uh, hex key, a 50 thousandths hex key. First thing we need to do is with the spanner wrench, remove the aluminum cap on the end, simply unscrew it with the spanner wrench and remove the aluminum cap and the black flexible nozzle all in one piece. With that there should be a black o-ring that stays on the cap. Next you want to slide the cold air muffler out and if you'll notice one end of the muffler there's a thick cross section, on the other end of the muffler there's a thin cross section. When you reassemble it, the thin cross section will go in first. Underneath that, there's a thin section of ring that you'll need to remove. It just fell out. After that, you'll take your 50 thousandths hex key and remove the adjustment knob at the end. Simply remove or unscrew the uh, set screw there. Pull the knob off. And next step is to remove the compressed air inlet with a 9 16 wrench. Simply unscrew that, that'll fall out, and at that point you can remove the uh, internal vortex tube from the blue sleeve. What you need to do next is take the brass compressed air inlet that you just removed and screw it into the body of the vortex tube, and with your Ratchet, unscrew the brass cold cap here, remove the cold cap, remove the generator and the o-ring, and at this point if you're simply replacing the generator with the same size generator because the old generator is worn or dirty, what you'll need to do is uh, inspect the slots in the generator if they are worn or dirty simply discard it or clean that generator or discard it and replace it with a different generator. Or if you want to increase the cooling capacity of the generator or the cold air gun, then what you'll want to do is purchase a new generator kit. What I'm doing now is I'm taking out the 15 CFM generator and replacing it with the 25 CFM generator, which is blue in color. So what you do is Drop the generator into the cavity in the vortex tube. Put the small o-ring on top of it. Put the brass cold cap on top of that and screw it in place. And you'll want to torque that brass cold cap to at least 100 inch pounds torque. Once you've done that, you'll want to remove the compressed air inlet slide the vortex tube main body back into the blue sleeve. You'll notice there's three holes on the blue sleeve. You want to line up the compressed air inlet on the vortex tube with the largest hole in the blue sleeve. So you slide it in place, line up that hole, is so, screw the compressed brass compressed air inlet fitting back in and tighten it. Reattach the knob on the end. You'll notice there's a flat on the stem, the valve stem. You'll line up the set screw with that flat on the valve stem and then simply tighten the set screw with your 50 thousandths hex key. At that point, the hot end of the tube is pretty much complete. You'll want to put the thin section of the ring into the blue sleeve. Make sure it drops to the bottom 
of the blue sleeve so that it's laying flat on top of the vortex tube. After that, you'll take the muffler assembly, and again with the thin section of the muffler assembly going in first, insert it into place. At that point, you can then screw on the aluminum cap with the black flexible nozzle. And tighten that down with your pin type spanner wrench. And it's done.